Hi guys, good evening, good evening. Yan, so, oi, ano nga ba? Yon, good evening. Good evening. Hi guys, good evening. Yan, so, narinig nyo ba ako guys? Can you comment down sa section? Yan, uh, can you comment dyan sa section? Uh, comment section, no, kung nandyan kayo. Kung narinig nyo ako, good evening, good evening, another uh, night of learning na naman. So, narinig nyo ba ako? Can you comment? Tapos, patype na rin kung nasan kayo, from Quezon City ba kayo, Manila, Las Piñas, or mga OFW natin, marami tayong OFW na nanonood ngayon. Okay? So, yan. Yan, si Tutay. Yes, yes, naikinig. Uh, yan, naikinig sila. Yan, si Coach Resti nandyan, no? Si Celedonia, yan, si Desi, si Ronella, Si Aga nandiyan, magandang gabi din, no? So, tutay. So, pasensya na, no? Mali yung scheduled live ko nung una. So, ano, mali yung ano natin. Mali yung link na nalang nagawa ko. So, 8 o'clock yung nagawa ko kanina, but 9 o'clock talaga tayo. Okay? So, please, ano, uh, pasuan nyo muna tong video na to para maramdaman ko na nandiyan kayo. At the same time, um, share nyo na rin. So, pas marami pa tayo matutunan kasi alam naman natin, uh, ang daming na loloko, ang daming na bibiktima ng scam no? because of cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. No? So, yan din yung mga i-discuss din natin. Okay? So, yan, loud and clear. No? So, kung hindi nakakarinig dyan, refresh nyo lang no? sa mga hindi nakakarinig. Okay? So, yan, si Annaline no? from Las Piñas. No? Yan, uh, Socor from Socor. Si Desi. So, start tayo a few minutes. No? Papasukin lang natin. Okay, so, yan. Wala daw sa... Loud and clear naman, no? So, refresh lang. So, guys, pa-share na lang. Pa-share na lang itong video, no? Itong uh, Facebook Live natin para mas marami pa tayong uh, ma-bless, no? So, yan. Share ko lang din. Yan. Yan, share ko lang din. Nakashare na ba siya? Yan, yan. Pasuan niya lang. Pasuan niya. Yan. <laughs> yan, yan, yan. So, tingnan natin. Yan. Okay. <laughs> Okay, thank you ah, sa mga nag-share. Thank you. Share nyo lang muna. Yan. Thank you sa mga nag-share. Okay? Okay. So, share ko lang tong isang, yan, yung, ano natin, yung presentation natin. Okay? So, guys, welcome again for our, uh, so, mag-start na tayo, no? So, uh, pasensya na, no? So, iba naligaw. No, naligaw sila. So, mali kayo na create nating uh, Facebook Live link, no? So, pasok lang ulit kayo dito. Okay? So, again, uh, let let me start no with the history of money. So, bakit but mga tayo may cryptocurrency, no? Bakit nag evolve no yung uh, ating pera? And of course, alam naman natin yung simula no, ng mga unang panahon, we do barter trading. So, kung alam niyo yung mga kalakalang galyon, no, nasa history natin 'yan. So, we trade goods no for for other goods. No, wala pa tayong means of money that time, no. So, of course, nangyari diyan, uh, naging gold coins 'yan, no, yung mga coins, mga silver, mga pilak. So, siguro sa panahon ni Dwe, sa panahon ni Jesus, 'di ba? So, ito ni mga currency no, no, yung mga uh, gold, mga silver, mga yung mga pilak no. And of course, after no na develop din yung uh, paper money. So, which is yung fiat money na tinatawag siya, which is backed by some some countries backed by gold, no. So, ito yung paper money na tinatawag. Okay? Or fiat money. Okay? So, again, um Electronics, no? Uh, of course, right now, no? Ito yung current natin ngayon. We have electronic cards or yung mga credit card, debit card. So, minsan, di ba, uh, kahit di na natin kailangan ng, 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 credit, uh, ng, ano, ano, ng physical money, no? 
credit card na lang, uh, online na lang, pwede na. Okay? So basically, uh, crypto is a natural evolution of money talaga. So it's it's a natural evolution of money. So ano pa ba yung next? Kailangan pa ba ng credit card? Kailangan pa ba ng plastic cash na tinatawag, no? So basically it was developed because of this purpose, no? Para hindi na pag nagbabayad tayo, no? Um hindi na hindi na basta-basta na uh, ano, okay? Yeah. So again, two reasons crypto exists, no? Uh, to solve a problem in currency, so and of course the database currency can have some funct functionality. Okay? So ito yung reason daw bakit nag nag uh, exist yung cryptocurrency. So again, crypto is uh, it's a way of it's a digital, no? Digital money. So of course currency is a money, no? So that's cryptocurrency. So okay, so again, um, what is crypto or Bitcoin is a digital asset, no? So it's a payment system invented by Satoshi. So this is, ano, uh, this is, we're talking about crypto kasi it's different, maraming types yan, eh. So Bitcoin, in crypto, maraming types of like Bitcoin, um, of course, Ethereum, no? Um, Cardano, Cardano, yung Litecoin, no? Marami, um, maraming types of cryptocurrency. But we will discuss ngayon is the main itong, uh, itong Bitcoin itself, no? So, it's a digital asset, no? It's a payment system invented by Satoshi Nakamoto. So, until now, hindi pa rin siya mahanap, no? So, maraming uh, speculations na grupo daw ba siya or uh, iba, meron ka pa sa Japan yan. But, nung tinignan nila, hinanap nila, normal na matandang lalaki lang, no? So, kumbaga, hindi pa rin ngayon nakikita si Satoshi Nakamoto. So, it's an open source software. So, in, it, back in 2009, the system is peer-to-peer -peer and transactions take place between users directly without an intermediary. So, kung ako magpapadala ako sa yung pera, I don't need a central bank, no? I don't need a bank, no? To, to give you my money, no? Just give me your wallet, no? Papadala ako sa yung pera, instantly okay so these transactions are verified by a network nodes and recorded in the public distributed ledger called the blockchain so um ito yung actually i've i'm you know sinasabi ko na to nung nung ako sa wealth summit no ni brother bo nag nagtoko ako about cryptocurrency no so sinabi ko na to it's not ai it's not the drone no yung mga next technology it's the blockchain no Kasi hindi lang, actually, guys, yung blockchain is not just for currency. It's also for yung mga smart contracts. No? Yung kunyari, next time, hindi na kailangan ng mga middleman if you're gonna buy. No? Ito yung nakikita natin in the future. No? Hindi na tayo, kunyari, bibili tayo ng bahay. Hindi na kailangan ng you know, mga broker. No? Um, diretso na yan through the blockchain technology. No? So, ganun... And because of blockchain, no, mamaya explain ko sa inyo, it's, kumbaga, it's unhackable na, na hing, yung hack na naririnig nyo, nahack yung wallet, kumbaga, nananakaw yung wallet physically. Parang ganun yung nangyayari. So it's not the blockchain itself yung nananakaw. Okay? Ah, nanahack pala. Or nananakaw. So, so, ang ginagawa niyan, um, which I'll explain later on. Okay, it's called the first cryptocurrency. It's Bitcoin is called the first cryptocurrency. Ito yung sikat ngayon. It kumbaga sa sa compared sa fiat money, it's the dollar ng cryptocurrency, no. So, it's a first decentralized digital currency. Bitcoin is the largest of its kind in terms of total market value. So, right now, in terms of cryptocurrency. So, again, Bitcoin is a peer-to-peer -peer virtual currency without any fiat currency counterpart. So, hindi siya wala siyang katumbas na kumbaga it's a peer-to-peer -peer virtual currency talaga. So there's no central authority. So unlike, again, the physical cash, the fiat money, mayroong central bank na, na nakasama dyan, no? So every transaction is authenticated or validated by collective of Bitcoin user computers. So ito yung mga nagmamine, no? So even a validation ng mga computers. So actually, yung mga nagmamine, explain ko sa inyo. So because of their, kanya ba, set up mo yung computer mo, magmamine ka ng cryptocurrency, so mag-validate ka ng mga transactions. So in in return, in reward, makakatanggap ka ng Bitcoin. no? So ganun na di-distribute yung Bitcoin. So value fluctuates depending on demand and trust. Okay? So most anonymous, mostly anonymous yan. So hindi ko nakikita, kunyari, hindi nakikita sa ledger na yon sa blockchain, sa ledger, hindi nakikita kung sino yung pinadala ko, o sino yung nagpadala, kung sino yung pinadalhan. So that's one feature ng Bitcoin na cryptocurrency na 
special specifically Bitcoin no kaya gusto gusto siya ng mga <laughs> ano mo yun kaya nga ano siya na brand siya na pang masamang tao daw kasi uh, hindi mo nakikita kung sino yung nagpapadala tsaka sino yung papadalhan no nakikita mo lang is the amount okay so that's um, the feature of uh, one feature ng Bitcoin and of course Bitcoins will be created until 21 million lang in circulation no so So ano lang kaya tumataas guys yung value ng Bitcoin so one reason is because it's limited if it's limited supply no so limited lang siya no it started mining in 2019 so pay habang tumatagal pay hirap tang pay hirap magmine ng Bitcoin so that's the and ito guys 2017 wala well, I think 18 18 no 2018 last year pa lang no sinasabi ko na to na na um may opportunity somehow no sa cryptocurrency which I will explain later okay okay so sabi nila um ito nga sabi nila sa Toshi na kamoto so break time lang muna tayo joke time lang so si Samsung daw to si ba na kami chichak sa Motorola kasi guys ang andil ngayon yung creator no uh, ng Bitcoin ng code na yon is hindi pa talaga mahanap until now okay so again how how do Bitcoin works no um You download the software onto your computer or sa phone mo, no? Meron kang magkakaroon software. And then it will generate a unique address. Kumbaga sa counterpart niya, ito yung bank account mo, no? Ito yung bank name mo. Okay? So, ito yung address mo. For example, no? Um, ano lang? Uh, big, yan. Uh, may address yan specifically para sa'yo. Tapos, ibibigay mo lang yan, no? Uh, you buy bitcoins with offline currency, to f- the funds are added to your digital wallet. So yan, pwede mong ibigay yan in exchange of uh, cryptocurrency, uh, if you exchange your physical money or the fiat money, yung pera natin ngayon, pwede kang bumili ng bitcoin using that wallet. Papalagay mo dyan yung conversion ng bitcoin na yan. No? So pag mag-receive ka rin ng pera, dyan din, yun din ibibigay mong address. Ganun po ka-importante yung address na to. Itong unique address na to. Okay, so that's that's the address of uh, your wallet. And... Again, sa yung Union Bank na yun, no, may ATM na sila no, ng cryptocurrency. So, pwede kayo magpapalit doon. So, mamaya explain ko pa yung ibang software na ginagamit natin to buy cryptocurrency. No? So, uh, good evening good evening ulit sa inyo. No? Good evening ulit sa mga nanonood dyan. Um, share nyo lang. No? Share nyo itong video na to para mas marami pang uh, uh, matuto. Marami pa tayong matulungan. No? Okay? So... Ay, sa inyo, again, sorry, no? Sorry sa mali na lagay nating link kanina. So, yan. So, please comment lang kayo dyan. Mamaya sasagutin yung mga questions nyo. And of course, please do share this video. Okay? So, again, uh, it the network authenticates your transaction. So, in-authenticate yung transaction natin. So, ito yung mga nag... Kung narinig niya yung mga nagmamind, di ba? So, sila yung nag-authenticate ng mga transactions sa Bitcoin network or sa blockchain network ng Bitcoin. Okay? So, again, it's it's unhackable in a sense na no, pag hinak mo yung isang network, kunyari ako, nagmamine ako, tapos may isang tao nagmamine sa US, may nagmamine sa China. So, you have to act every one of us no, to, kumbaga naka-mirror kami lahat eh, naka-mirror. So, pag hinak mo yung isa, kailangan ni-hack mo sabay-sabay, which is very impossible. So, it's like, sabi nga dyan yung nabasa ko, it's like climbing a sand, no, uh, mountain of sand. Kasi habang kahit na nag-hack ka, to, umakit ka, bumabok sa ka pa din. Kasi that, that's how difficult to hack the Bitcoin network. So, again, yung mga narinig nyo, yung mga na-hack na Bitcoin, it's the wallet itself. No, yung wallet mismo yung na-hack. No, hindi yung Bitcoin network or the blockchain network. So, again, it's impossible to do that. Okay? So, pag na-validate na, napadala na sa'yo, no? na-prove na yung nagpapadala sa'yo, may sapat siyang Bitcoin, tapos ikaw, tama yung address mo, marireceive mo na yung pera. Okay? So, ganun na po. Basically, that's the Bitcoin per se, no? And of course, uh, for example, no? let, let, let's, let us... Uh, compare it to to fiat money. So if fiat money means ito yung physical na pera natin ngayon. Okay? So let's say JV you know, wants to send money to Robert. Kunyari, this is the normal transaction na ginagawa natin, 'di ba? Pag nagpapadala tayo ng uh, ng pera sa ibang bansa o uh, sa mga 
So, marami, many things have to happen, no? JP tells this local bank, they tell the local reserve bank, they, they tell the central bank, the central bank of JB tells the central bank of Robert's country, and finally, Robert goes to his ATM and takes out the money, or hindi lang sa ATM, isa sa bank ko mo pa kukunin. So, ganun, kahassle, um, minsan magpadala, di ba? So, ako, naranasan ko, nagpadala ako sa Taiwan ng pera, no, nung kailangan namin magpadala doon, so, kailangan pa namin pumunta sa bank, tapos may mga certification pa, of course, Minsan, ang baba ng palitan, may mga charges pa, di ba? So, and then it will take days para mag-clear pa dun sa, um, dun sa, para mag-clear pa at ma-withdraw nung babayaran ko sa Taiwan. Okay, so si Catherine Ong, may tanong siya dito, um, how long uh, will transactions get authenticated? No? So, depende, depende sa network. So, usually naman, uh, ako pa nagpapadala ako, um, Depende. Minsan madali lang. So, minsan may hours na... Kasi mayroon silang transaction. Kung baga sa mga... mga let's say, pag, pagpadala mo, depende rin dun sa... pipili mo na speed, eh, no? Sa fee. May, may minimal fee kasi siya, no? So, ganun yung nangyayari. Okay? So, usually, few minutes lang minsan or minsan few hours din. Minsan nga, ano rin eh. So, unlike, dun, unlike talaga sa pag magpapadala ka sa bank to bank, yung common practice natin ngayon, minsan, di ba, pag uh, malaking pera talaga, it will take days. no So, what is, again, what is blockchain? no So, the, the technology behind, the secret behind Bitcoin is the blockchain. So, lagi naririnig natin yan. Ano ba yung blockchain na yan? No? So, again, Blockchain is not just for uh, currency, no? Pwede siyang gamitin. Again, sabi ko nga yung mga smart contracts, no? So, different things, no? Blockchain about sa medical. Marami siyang application. And for me, sabi ko nga, I believe, no? I'm saying it last 2018 pa, na 17 pa, na this is the technology talaga na abangan, magandang abangan in the future. So, it's not AI or everything. It's the blockchain. So, it guarantees the correctness of its past and present data, and it guarantees the correctness of its future state and data. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. So, again, blockchain, no geographic borders, no? Basta buong mundo magkakonected sa internet, okay yan. Hindi mo kailangan ng banks. So, the validation is done by computers, no? Again, those who are mining, those who are connected in the blockchain, sila yung nag- um, validate and of course it's decentralized no so yun yung maganda rin dyan. okay so again if it's send if we will send money again kanina sinabi natin yung fiat money or physical money what if we will send through the blockchain naman okay so let's say jb wants to send money to robert he puts together a transaction in his computer that describes how much he wants to send money Okay, so the transaction is added to a block. The block is sent all over the network and the network validates. No? If you validate yan, kung talagang uh, meron kang, yung prior transactions mo, kung talagang meron kang Bitcoin sa wallet mo na legit. No? So, the currency is sent to Robert. So, the, trans the transaction is now there in the block and Robert is now in control of his private key that controls the fund. So, na kay Robert na yung pera ni Papa Dada. Okay? So, again, security, if JV sends money to Robert, Robert gets it. Decentralized, there are no geographic borders to currency. So, kahit sa buong mundo, pwede kang magpadala. Uh, anonymity, ibig sabihin, anonymous ka nga, no? Nobody knows about my transaction. no? So, forgery, this uh, the same as A, but in the same, uh, some situation, slightly different, no? And send money to Bob can trust the money not forged by someone along the way. So there's no duplicate money. Kasi nga, maraming network ang nagpa-validate, maraming computer. So kung may hacker yan, dapat sabay-sabay. Ang hirap niyan. Again, it's like climbing a mountain of sand. So control supply should always be known by every party how much supply exists and under what conditions supply would stop. And in probably every case, even the supply is a maximum. For instance, the maximum number of Bitcoins that will ever be mined is 21 million. So actually, that's why tumatakas yung value niya kasi limited lang talaga yung supply ng Bitcoin. As, yan. Okay, so 21 million lang talaga yung pwedeng i-mine. Okay, so cryptography protects Robert's funds from being duplicated. So that's the uh, being stolen from and being stolen no, from him as long as Robert takes reasonably security measures in his crypto uh, wallet. No? So, kailangan 
uh, talagang sobrang ano ka, minsan nga maraming na hold up, no? Because of the wallet, crypto wallet nila. Yung wallet guys, it can be digital, it can be uh, a hardware, no? Yeah, meron kaming tinatawag na ledger wallet na tinatawag. So, pwede mong ilagay doon para mas safe siya or pwede rin naman sa online wallet mo, mis- nga lang, mas risky yun kung nasa online wallet mo lang. Okay? So, again, what are the pros? Standardized and neutral confirmation policy back off by software that does no human agendas. Again, to avoid government borders, middlemen. So, that's the cost might be zero sometimes, no? depending on exchange. Blockchains are inevitably resilient, no? With Bitcoin, nodes are running all over the world. The power is distributed. There's no single vector of attack. So that's why, again, it's very uh, hard to hack because there's no single vector of attack kasi nga lahat naka-network, naka-mirror all over the world. So, again, if you will launch an attack, um, kailangan yun, okay? So what are the cons? Again, miners approve transactions one block at a time, no? So, um seen of time stop blockchain sa slow inefficient so minsan nga ano lang talaga no sobrang inefficient na medyo mabagal talaga minsan mag uh, process no ayan inefficient especially compared to visa mastercard or paypal there's a reason no decentralization and censorship resistant that's what sets bitcoin apart from traditional payment systems and efficiency is inefficiency is the trade off so kaya siya mabagal guys it's because of the, the decentralization and censorship of resistance okay so everyone can see the transaction because it's a public ledger. Again, but hindi malalaman kung sino nagpadala tsaka sino pinadalan. Yung transaction lang itself. Kung magkano, yung bitcoins, ganun. Okay? So, yan. Okay, so ito yung uh, sinisabi nila before, no? So, sabi nila, bumababa yung pera natin because of inflation. Tapos, as compared naman daw sa Bitcoin, ito mataas, okay? So, tingnan natin, no? Uh, this is just yung mga meme na nakikita ko sa internet, okay? But again, uh, ako, I, I was I started investing in cryptocurrency, no? 2016 pa, guys, no? 16, $600 pa lang yung Bitcoin, no? $600. And ngayon, I think it's around $12,000 to $13,000. And last 2017, I think, no? Um, nag-hit siya ng 20,000. Bumagsak siya, naging 15, 14, 13, as low as 4,000, I think 3 to 4,000 dollars. And ngayon, it's climbing, climbing up back. No? So, tumataas siya. So, mamaya, pakita natin. Okay? So, this is the, this is from Coindesk and PricewaterhouseCoopers. So, Bitcoin investment far exceeds early internet investments. No? So, compared sa mga nag-invest noong time ng nag-internet, sa, compared sa 2014 na Bitcoin, so, nakikita niya naman. So, yeah. Okay, in millions po to, no? In millions. Okay. Yeah. So, mamaya guys, sagutin ko yung mga tanong nyo mamaya. Tapusin lang natin to. So, again, in the Philippines naman, no? Again, sab- uh, meron tayong mga, di ba meron ng yung Union Bank nag-launch ng virtual currency, ATM. Okay naman yung acceptance niya, no? Um, we have uh, Bitcoin wallets here. So, ayan. So, we, we, meron tayong coins.ph. We have, may abra tayo. So, that's, those are app lang, no? Uh, cell phone apps, may web-based din sila, coins.ph. So, again, I'm not an affiliate of coins or abra. Pero yun yung mga madaling uh, mag-open lang. You can use those Bitcoins, no? Pwede ka mag-load doon. Uh, load doon mo ng pera ng physical money tapos through Cebuana, maraming maraming paraan eh, 7-Eleven, annual year, ganyan. And then, you can use those coins, no? Convert to Bitcoin and you can pay. You can pay utilities there. So, that's uh, parang sa online facility din. So, utilities, credit card, bills, cable, life insurance and everything. Tuition, pwede rin doon, no? So, that's yung mga wallets natin. Coins, Abra, and everything. And again, you can pay your bills. So these are some of the international Bitcoin wallets, no? So, yeah. So, maraming options, guys, no? Yeah. Okay. So recently, di ba may nahak yung uh, Binance, no? But uh, it's okay, kasi nga uh, ano naman yan, insured naman yan. Okay. So don't worry, guys. As a end user, hindi naman haya ng Binance then uh, na mawala yung pera niyo. Okay. So in 2014, no, nag uh, naging three sixteen dollars siya. Tapos, four, six, again, four sixteen dollars in 2015. So, mga bandang 2016 ako bumili, no? I think that's around September. 
$600 lang yun. So, by the end of 2016, naging $800 na yan. Tapos, naging $2,000 nung 2017. Umakit ng $4,000. Nung October 16, 2017, naging $5,000. And yun nga, sabi ko nga, by, eh, by end of 2017, I think, naging ano yan, eh, naging, uh, I think, uh, last year ba? O, oh, naging um, $20,000, tapos naging $11,000 until last year, no? naging as low as 3 to 4,000 yan. And ngayon, bumabalik na naman siya. This is the current price of Bitcoin. That's 12,806. Yan. So, hindi ko lang alam kung ano, magkano na ngayon. No? So, this is kagabi, kagani na kaya ata nakita to. Okay? So, again, beware. No? Marami kasing scams ngayon sinasabi nila. They are invested in Bitcoin. We have Bitcoin. Guys, It's the riskiest asset na nakikita ko, no? Ito yung pinaka-risky. So, this is a disclosure na para itong ginawa ko webinar ito para to warn you din, no? Na hindi 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 to hype or anything. It's just to warn you what are the risky, what are the risk involved, no? And talagang sobrang risky niya, no? I think it's riskier than stocks, no? Riskier than mutual funds, no? It's riskier than uh, yung mga US dollars investments niyo. So, and it's also being used, no? Because of kaya ako, kasi maraming hindi nakakaalam ano ba yung cryptocurrency. So, ginagamit siya ng mga scammers to to lure you, no? to, to parang uh, gumagamit ng mga highfalutin cryptocurrency words no? para hindi mo maintindihan. No? Kasi ganun naman ang goal ng mga scammers. Eh, diba? So, kung ano na sasabihin sa'yo, para kunyari, ang talid nyo nila, no? tapos i-scam ka lang to, to invest in your money to them. No? So, okay, maraming, di ba, maraming gumawa niyan. No? Maraming gumawa niyan na scam sila because of sasabihin nila Bitcoin daw, sasabihin ng mga scammer. So again, 95 to 98 percent there out there are scams. No? So nakal. And of course, uh, yun niya, fear of missing out. So maraming sa atin, uh, maraming nasunog din sa Bitcoin because of ito, walang guidance, nag-invest lang sila, sinabi lang nung ano nila, pataas daw yung Bitcoin, nag-invest lang sila bigla. So fear of missing out, yung tawag doon. Okay? So what are the characteristics, no? O mga crypto scams, no? Of course, uh, pag nagsabi, uh, unre- unrealistic claims, no, cloud mining services daw, no. Um, again, you can you can mine no through your laptop, through your uh, your desktop, no. Um, pwede yun. Pero kung sinabi ng cloud mining services, siguro pag-aralo mo maigi, no, kasi maraming scams talaga. Marami yung kilalang hindi nakuha nila, hindi nila nakuha yung pera because of that. Okay, so oh, may mga nag-offer din ng Bitcoin investment packages, guys. Dapat Again, this is not yet authorized to offer. Actually, this is one hurdle no, na, na gustong uh, kumbaga, malampasan ng cryptocurrency fun, uh, world, no, ng mga cryptocurrency community. Like, I'm a member of it. Kami, sa ako doon, sa mga cryptocurrency believer, na it's, it's sa mga objective or sa mga gusto namin mga hurdle is yung pag-approve as an investment parang uh, ETF, no, ETF exchange traded funds, Bitcoin, no? ito yung mga, kumbaga, it will be readily available na sa public na as, as investment. No? So, pag may nag-offer currently sa iyo ng best Bitcoin investment packages, tapos nag-guarantee sa iyo na may return, unrealistic claims, unrealistic returns, medyo parang scam yun. Kasi right now, eh, hindi pa siya na-approve. No? Um, yung mga ETF sa states, wala pa. It's not yet readily available. But again, um, right now because of you know what happened kung ano yung inannounce ni Facebook no which uh, yung coin nila na sarili nilang cryptocurrency na Libra so talagang meron nagkakaroon na acceptance no kasi before talagang nire-reject ng ng uh, government ng mga ibang tao itong cryptocurrency but because of what uh, Facebook did no so talagang it's inevitable that they were going to, to digital uh, currencies no so again of course pag may nag-offer sa ng multi level marketing na kasama no guys you don't need MLM you don't need MLM to invest in cryptocurrencies you can buy it in your own no you can buy download an app no pondoan mo exchange to cryptocurrency hina meron ka ng cryptocurrency see so absence of key information so no code base no mahirap yan ghost team members ng mga cryptocurrencies. Okay? So, again, it's too late. Uh, siguro, tanongin mo yung mga kasama mo kung meron sila ng mga cryptocurrencies like Monero, Litecoin. Okay? So, 
So, marami na nakrinig, but 2% pa lang nag invest talaga actually. Okay, so, yan. So, what are you saying? Sabi ni CNBC trader Brian Kelly, cryptocurrencies are following the same exponential trajectory as interest. No? It's once in a generation investment opportunity. So, there's a infinite upside. No, sabi ni Hunter Blodgett of Business Insider. So the booming market in cryptocurrencies could now be a mainstream financial credibility. So ito, marami, marami rin nagbaback, especially, di ba sila? There's so human capital. So sabi ni Bill Gates, the future of money, cryptocurrency. Yeah. Yeah, so what are, again, uh, Japan, no? Legalizing Bitcoin support of payment right now. Soon, very soon, Amazon and Siguro narinig nyo ngayon sa Facebook, no? Very soon na rin yan. Okay, eBay, uh, everything, no? So, marami. So, yan, sabi rin Richard Branson, no? I've invested in Bitcoin because I believe in its potential. Okay? So, the capacity it has to transfer global payments is very exciting. Okay, sinabi rin ni, yeah, ni Bill Gates, okay? Shows that how cheap can be Bitcoin is better than currency in that you don't have to be physically in the same place. And of course, for large transactions, currency can get pretty convenient. Okay? So, yeah. Yeah, no? So, check that then. Yeah, so basically, um, that's overall the picture of Bitcoin. And in that, um, Marami ngayon ang nag... Uh, yan. So, sa mga gusto, let's say, uh, gusto mong matutunan talaga uh, in-depth, no? Uh, gusto mo talaga matutunan in-depth itong cryptocurrency. So, yan. So, share ko lang tong Libra, no? This is a... Yan. Kita ba? Yan, sinare ko lang tulad picture, yan. Yan, no? So, this is the, di ba, siguro narinig nyo last year, you know, sa cryptocurrency na nirelease ng Facebook, okay? So, and right now, the top cryptos have all potential that Bitcoin did. So, maraming alternative coins, no? Altcoins sa tinatawag. So, few cents, so you can build a big base for a little money. So, you don't need, again, um, ang rule ko dito, guys, no? If you're gonna try cryptocurrency we want to dip some of your money into this cryptocurrency at least siguro ay at most na pala at most no it's around yeah, 5 5% siguro 5% 5% of your uh overall kumbaga uh money or invested for example no if you have 100,000 siguro uh 60% no in stocks talaga or mutual funds then 20% in bonds no 10% into insurance emergency fund siguro uh, 5 to 10% can be in bitcoin no or in, in can be in cryptocurrency so yun lang naman eh yun lang naman yung inaano ko diyan so yan uh, marami uh, imagine if you could do that no if you could turn your 10,000, which what happened to us talaga. So again, disclosure lang, it's it's not guaranteed, it's not gonna be, it's a, it's, hindi siya yung tuloy-tuloy na ganun, na mangyayari, you know? So, imagine lang. So you don't, in cryptocurrencies kasi, i, i, kasi ang hirap sa iba, so binenta nila yung bahay nila, binenta nila yung kotse nila, para lang i-invest sa Bitcoin. So in Bitcoin kasi, again, sabi ko nga, at most na yung 5% to 10% of your overall excess cash or money. So again, dapat majority pa rin nasa stocks, nasa real estate, nasa business. So kumbaga this is, kung ano yung kung mag invest ka sa cryptocurrency, it, it should be yung pang laro mo na, diba? pang, pang, uh, pang ready ka na mawala. So again, kung 10,000 yon, it could be because of the potential, no? Kasi nga, risk yan, sobrang laki. So, the upside din, no? no The more you risk, the more you turn. That's the, yun yung pinaniniwala natin. So, ang potential lang, kahit maliit yung pera mo, it could go to, di ba, malaki na malaki. Because, um, again, you don't need that big money to try investing. So, again, this is uh, pantasya, hindi, hindi to pantasya, no? And, of course, very positive pa rin tayo in the future. Okay. So, kami, again, uh, um, yun lang naman eh. So, again, kung gusto nyo matuto, gusto nyo mag, uh, 
gusto niyo matuto, eh, mayroon akong video course na ginawa dyan, no? so, step by step guide, no? becoming, uh, if you want to invest in cryptocurrency, no? um, I think it's a, uh, you don't need to be an expert, no? so ituturo ko dyan, no? uh, this is a step step video, how to invest, what are the loopholes na kailangan mong gawin, uh, loopholes na hindi mo dapat gawin, no? Um, ano, yung, ano ba yung sinasabi ng Banko Central about this, no? So, yung mga guides, no? Paano ka hindi mahak? So, tuturuan kita dyan, of course, yung paano ka magkaroon ng hard, hardware wallet, no? Yung uh, na, na, ledger wallet mo, paano ka mag-buy and sell ng cryptocurrencies, no? What are the other alternative points na meron, meron ako, no? So, isi-share ko sa inyo lahat yan, no? This is my school, so I launched it last, ano pa to eh? last 2018, no? Last year lang, no? So around, we have around 300 students here. So if you're interested, no? Um, yeah, yeah, so marami. So may, gumawa rin ako ng calculator dyan. How to, how will you allocate kung magkano yung ilalagay mo sa, sa cryptocurrencies? Of course, may mga... Uh, coins transaction cost, cost tool no so kung pa, paano mo ma-compute yung mga cost portfolio monitoring din so in-upload natin yan in-upload natin lahat yan okay so yeah so nanonood diyan no nanonood diyan batiin ko lang no si si Layani Ulep si Michelle ba nandiyan si Chris Kilon Sante si Ronald si Ronald no yan si Marco nandiyan pala yeah, so yeah, and of course we will have live webinars also, no? For if you want to enroll, of course may mga guide tayo, trending news and updates, no? Nagi-email ako you, you can ask my previous students, no? Nagi-email ako sa kanila update regarding cryptocurrencies. Okay, so again, uh, this is limited lang. Uh, I would say na ice pa namin, bakay close namin for for a short period of time itong course na to. Okay, so yeah. So if you're interested, yeah, um, daming news nyan, yeah. Okay, so in 2019, no, this is very, very red hot, no. Ito ang cryptocurrency. Okay, so if you're interested, again, disclosure lang den, no. Past performance is not indicative of future results. So you could lose some. All your invested money buying and selling Bitcoin or alternative cryptocurrency is extremely volatile and might be suitable for all people as the price can change drastically in a short amount of time. So never risk more than you are 100% comfortable losing. Okay? So if you're interested, just go to this link, no? PinoyCryptoSchool.com, no? So I'm just accepting 20 students. Now again, I'll guide you how to buy no how to open your wallet account no how to store it kunyari nakabili ka na nasa wallet mo na paano mo siya i-store dun sa hardware wallet no na kailangan nakatago yung hardware wallet kung kaya mo lang siya of course i will send you also yung mga other alternative coins no meron ako okay yan so shout out no maraming shout out daw sa Dubai friends natin in in Jaflia, no? Al Jaflia. Yes, la po, live po to, Sir Thomas. Okay, so, yun. Just go to this link, PinoyCryptoSchool.com or if you have any questions, just message this page. Okay, so may questions ba kayo? Questions na tayo? Yan, so may questions ba? So sabi ni Catherine Ong, 21 USD, 21 million. Hindi po, 21 million Bitcoin. Okay. Yes, uh, may registration yan. Uh, ano, one-time fee lang naman yan. For, for 4,950 lang yan. Okay? So, uh, for for limited time, no? It's 4,950. So, just go to school.com. And again, I, ano lang din to, no? Kung if you're not satisfied, at least a year, na try mo, no? pinag mo at least a year, balikan mo ako. If you're not satisfied, I can refund you your money, no? So 4,950. Okay? So ilagay natin ah. Yeah. So if you 
if you are not happy, so lagi ko lang sa slide. Yan. So, lagay natin. Yan. Yan. So, how much po ang fee? Ito, pakita ko po sa inyo. Yan. Yan. Thank you, thank you. So, again, yan. Uh, pakita natin. Yan. So, for the first 20, 4,950 lang special price. Go to Pinoy Crypto School right now. Uh, dot com. Again, if you're not happy after a year, try mo lang. Try mo lang mag-invest. Tapos yung mga ibang sasabihin kong coins. If you're not happy after a year, I can refund your money. Okay? Iba po ang cryptocurrency no, sa Forex. no Iba po ang Forex. Okay? Crypt Forex po is yung mga USD, Euro. Cryptocurrency, iba pong currency po tayo. Okay? Sabi ni Marco, after bit, what's the next best? Hindi Kung alam ko lang, bro, mayaman na ako. Hindi, joke lang. <laughs> so, ano na lang. Sabihin ko na lang sa'yo, bro. So, sa ano makakabili ng ledger na, ano? Uh, Natry mo na ba sa, ano? You can buy directly to them, eh. Google mo lang. Sa Lazada ako bumili dati. Meron sa Lazada. Thank you, Ronald. No? Kamusta dyan sa Mindanao? Cheryl, again, uh, 4950 for the first 20 students, no? Yeah. Yeah, so may questions pa kayo. So again, sorry ah, sorry ah, nagiba yung link natin. Alam ko marami nag-remind doon. Around 150 yung nag-remind doon sa isang link, no. So hopefully nandito kayo lahat, nakahabol kayo and nakita niyo yung tamang link. Okay? So biglaan lang tong link na to. Na schedule ko pa rin 8 o'clock. So pasensya na. Okay, so may questions pa kayo about cryptocurrency, about Bitcoin. How much is the minimum investment? Kahit 1,000, 2,000 pesos po pwede. Again, you don't need a large money to, you know, uh, hindi to para mag, para, kumaga para tumabo ng, ng malaki. Kasi nga, sobrang risky na itong part na to. Pwede rin, maganda rin yung upside niya kung talagang okay. No? Yung maging, maging maganda yung acceptance natin, ma-approve yung mga ETF ng Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies. No? So talagang, lalo na pag naging available sa public, yun yung in-expect natin. No? Once, which is, uh, maganda nga yung move ni Facebook kasi talagang, yung baga, that's a positive sign for the cryptocurrency world. No? So, kaya nag-rally. Nag-rally ulit si Bitcoin because yung ginawa ni Facebook last week ba yun? Last two weeks. No? So, so that's the minimum investment. One, one, two. Yeah. And so, okay. Yeah. And so, questions, pa ba? Questions, pa guys. Yeah. So, sabi ni Len, uh, pag pag nagregister sa bank payment, uh, dun lang guys. Uh, Doon lang. Marami options doon. So, may video payment, may credit card, may PayPal. So, punta lang kayo sa website. Tingnan nyo lang. May mga options po doon. Okay? In your experience, Coach, ilang percent din ba ang interest pag lago sa cryptocurrency? Uh, kasi nga iba yung, ano eh, we, we came here, uh, we came talaga, uh, I invested talaga cryptocurrency to, 2016, no? $600 pa lang yun. So, I remember it, the September 2016, no? So, $600 pa lang siya. So, yan. Yan. So, $600 pa lang siya. So, buri mo, ngayon, it's around ilang years ba yun? It's also 6, 17, 18, 19. So, 3 years, it's ngayon, na, currently, $12,000 siya. So, $13,000 $13,000. So, ilang thousand percent yun, di ba? So, that time, ang in-invest ko lang noon, no? So, magkano lang $600 per Bitcoin lang. So, I got a few Bitcoin before, no? So, yun yung nangyari noon. How do you fund it monthly? Sasabi niya. So, yun nga. Uh, ano lang naman. Sa Cebuana, yun nga. If you have your wallet, 
sa Cebuana, sa Seven Eleven yung New Year sa banks, no? Pwede po. Kasi lalo na ngayon yung ano nga, 'di ba, meron na yung Union Bank, meron na silang ATM. So madali na po mag-fund ngayon. Before Cebuana M New Year, uh 7-Eleven o mga online banks, no? Mga banks din actually, pwede rin. Madali na po. Uh, only about cryptocurrency po ba or may about investing on stocks din ba sa tutorial, sir? Ano po? Iba po yung stocks, ha? Again, uh, if you have, uh, let's say, 100,000 investable amount, ito yung pang-invest mo, I suggest na 70-60% pa rin should be in the mutual fund in the stock market. Okay? 10%, 20%, siguro in bonds, no? And, or sa mga businesses, sa real estate, dapat po mga 5% lang or mga... 10% lang po, no? or 10,000, 100,000 na yun, yung i-invest mo sa cryptocurrency because it's a risky investment nga po. Okay? It's a risky investment. So, yung sa stocks po, Miss Day, uh, balikan nyo lang po yung ano ko, balikan nyo lang po yung webinar ko last week, no? yung Facebook Live ko. I talk about stock market and mutual fund investing. Nandun po siya. Okay? So, sabi ni Tin, hindi mo pa ginagalaw or binabawasan yung funds mo. Ang uh, ginagawa ko, nag ako ako into buy other coins, no? other than Bitcoin. Yung mga mura pa. Yung mga pura pa. Yung, yun yung mga ginagawa ko. Uh, doon ako bumibili. No? Yun yung ituturo ko din kung paano ka bumili ng iba't ibang coins. No? Kasi medyo matagal yun, guys. No? Uh, kaya ano yun, around 20 plus videos yun. So, paano ka bibili ng mga iba't ibang coins? No? So, Kasi meron pa yan, may mga Litecoin, may mga uh, Ethereum, may mga Bitcoin Cash. Coach, yun po bang coins at PH na Bitcoin? Pwede po ba? Pwede naman dun. Pwede naman dun sa coins din, no? Ayan. Pero yun nga, if you want to be guided na uh, talagang step by step, no? You can enroll Pinoy Crypto School. Okay? Ayan. Okay, may questions pa ba, guys? Uh, may questions pa ba tayo in terms of uh, cryptocurrency yung topic natin ngayon? So, next week, ano bang gusto nyo yung topic? No? Ano bang gusto nyo pag-usapan natin next week? So, I hope na may natutunan kayo ngayong gabi na hindi lang kayo, you know, hindi lang kayo basta maniniwala sa mga scams kasi again, maraming gumagamit na scam sa Bitcoin, sa cryptocurrency. So, at least ngayon, alam nyo na kung paano nyo madedetect yung mga scams na yan. Okay. May preferred ka ba na exchange? Actually, wala po akong preferred na crypto exchange. No? Kasi may coin na gusto ko na wala sa ganito. May coins ako na wala sa ganyan. So, actually, I have multiple crypto exchanges. No? So, hindi yung i-discuss ko sa Pinoy Crypto School. No? So, ano yung mga ginagamit ng crypto? Kasi may mga recommendations din or may mga coins ako na binili na wala dito. So, I have to open an account here. Okay? So, basically, pwede yung malalaki. Of course, nandiyan yung Binance, nandiyan yung Bitrex, di ba? Qcoin, iba-iba. Okay? So, may questions pa ba? So, type nyo lang ano ba yung mga gusto nyong topic pa next week. Di, um, siguro next week or next next week, we'll talk about ano naman, e-commerce. How, how will you start a business, no? locally e-commerce no in yung isang business ko no about e-commerce okay thank you thank you so i hope may natutunan kayo ha um thank you so next week naman ano tayo ano bang gusto niyo mga topics pa basta message niyo lang ako if you have any questions okay so again again uh, if you really want to try cryptocurrency no uh, para hindi kayo mas scam no para mas guided kayo para mas maintindihan niyo pa in detail um ano lang um enroll lang kayo and hope sa mga nakakaroon ng replay sana may slot pa na same price na 4950 para sa inyo kasi i will increase this price no pag na hit ko na yung 20 enrollees no so increase ko na yung price na to around 50% pataas okay so see you See you. Again, if you're not satisfied after enrolling, I can give you your money back after a year. No? Kung sabihan mo lang sa akin na hindi ka, hindi ka natuto.
Okay, sabi ni T, nag-trade ka po ba ng Forex? Hindi po, no? But before, I used to trade, no? Uh, sa Forex, pero hindi ko na siya, siya ginawa. Okay? So, thank you guys, no? Sa mga, ano, hindi nakaabot, replay nyo lang to. Magkakaroon ng replay na ito. So, balikan nyo lang yung link na to. And of course, uh, next week, no? We'll try, we talk about, um, ano pa ba? e-commerce or other types of businesses, income streams na pwede natin i-discuss. Message nyo lang ako if you have uh, suggestions na gusto nyo yung topic na discuss natin. Okay? So, message me lang and thank you. And please do share this video pala. Last one, uh, last one, <laughs> last time, ano, one last request. Please share this video. Okay? Um, yan. So, please share this video sa mga iba para mas marami pang matuto at ma hindi maraming hindi mabiktima para yung mar maraming ano matuto at hindi mabiktima ng mga scams no so share this video and hope to see you next week no so para ma-notify ka ng Facebook live natin uh, please do like this page no yung coach Loren Janisha or message me no in this page no if you have any questions or message me para masama ka sa mga subscribers ko message niyo ako sa page na to and please do like this page okay Thank you guys. I hope may natutunan kayo. Um, yeah. Thank you guys. No, if you have any questions more, please message me. God bless. Good night.